Hello, I'm Dr. Paul M. Spazia of Advanced Bone and Joint. Today I want to talk to you about knee arthritis. Not all knee arthritis patients need a total knee. We can customize to the patient what they need. I'm going to particularly speak about today is a partial knee replacement, which is gaining popularity and is quite successful maintaining not only the nascent ligaments of the knee, but also making it feel much more natural with very quick recovery and being able to maintain a very active lifestyle. Arthritis, as you know, is a wear and tear disease. It's over time you start to lose the cushion, whether or not it's the articular cartilage that may be concomitant with a meniscus tear that could be a result of genetic predisposition, previous trauma. This is an operation that's meant for someone with osteoarthritis, not a patient with a rheumatoid arthritis or gouty arthritis, since that is more diffuse. This is an isolated, what we call pointer arthritis. They say, doctor, it always hurts here on the inside of my knee when I go up and down stairs. It hurts when I squat in this area. The rest of the knee is not tender. Therefore, with x-rays that just show medial-sided wear, with an exam that's just consistent with one-sided pain, why replace the whole knee? If all the ligaments are in good repair and the patient's not having any complaints, they may have had a normal MRI with the exception of the medial side showing disease, a unicompartmental arthroplasty, which predominantly is on the inside medially. They are also done laterally, but this is the more uh, common place to do the procedure is what the doctor has ordered. So, this is an example of a partial knee replacement. This again is for a patient that has, in a perfect world, is a relatively active patient, close to ideal body weight, with normal ligaments. What we do is replace the inside of the knee with special chamfer cuts, like you're cutting a cabinet. Very small amount of cartilage is removed, and we cement a metal component on the femur, a metal component on the tibia with a plastic spacer to restore alignment. We keep the anterior cruciate and the posterior cruciate ligaments intact. We keep the menisci intact on the lateral side. We do not violate the patella or the kneecap and how it glides. So this is a very natural knee. Recovery is very quick, normally done as an outpatient, no braces, return back to driving your car within two weeks, and a fairly active lifestyle at six weeks. The risk of a partial knee replacement is real, but is not as common as you see with total joints since it's a much smaller surgery. Infection, less than 1%. Nerve damage, less than 1%. Blood clots in the leg, less than 1%. Arthrofibrosis or stiffening of the knee is relatively non-existent since the surgery is not as dramatic as a total knee. They're very happy patients and if for whatever reason after 10 or 15 years if disease or the arthritis progresses to the other compartment this can be removed and we can convert this to a total knee arthroplasty with minimal morbidity. So we are not burning any bridges and hopefully we can do one operation and that will be it for the life of the patient. I'd like to present to you an illustrative case of a partial knee replacement that I performed on a patient that had predominantly medial sided knee pain. The pain was present when they would walk up and down stairs, when they squatted. It was always very point and focal. This patient had been treated with bracing, anti-inflammatory medications, steroid shots, lubrication shots, activity modification and physical therapy, continued to have medial sided knee pain. As you can see, there's narrowing of the joint. There is some varus alignment or a bow-leggedness to this patient. On the lateral view, we don't see significant osteophytes, but we know that this has been degenerate in nature because this particular patient had a previous arthroscopy which showed one compartment disease. Here's an example of a patient that's had a partial knee replacement. As you can see, just the medial side of the knee has been replaced. Again, with just taking a small amount of cartilage off and then cementing or gluing the femur and the tibial implants in place with a small insert that goes between the femur and the tibia. We've restored alignment, 
so it's no longer bow-legged. We like to get close to neutral. We do not want to overcorrect. If you overcorrect, you'll load the lateral compartment, resulting in premature arthritis. This case was done as an outpatient. The patient is allowed immediate weight bearing, no braces, normally driving their vehicle within two to four weeks. Again, the life expectancy for a well-placed partial knee replacement is up to 90% at 10 to 15 years. If for whatever reason arthritis progresses to the other compartments, either the patella or the lateral compartment, this can be converted to a total knee arthroplasty.